Hi everyone, my name is Hafizuddin Arsad from Mitsubishi Electric Malaysia Japanese Company Support. So today I would like to do the demonstration for the IQF PLC web server function. So before we proceed to the demonstration of the web, the web server function, first thing first, I would like to introduce uh, about the details of this web server function. So the main purpose of this function is to read or write the device data from or to the CPU module by using a web browser. The meaning of the web browser here that this function supports all the major uh, web browsers such as Safari, Chrome, uh, and so on. So the supporting model for this function is going to be the IQR and also the IQF which is the latest version of our PLC as a standard built-in function which means that there will be no other additional uh, hardware required in order for you uh, to use this function. For the MELSEC Q series, there will be uh, an additional uh, module required which is what we call as web server module and the type as per what mentioned in the slide. So you need to uh, add on and install this uh, module to the uh, available slots on your base unit. So before we proceed for the more details explanation, I think in order for us to make things easier to be understand, uh, I will introduce one of the case study that using this web server function for monitoring and also for the control purpose. So we received one request from our customer uh, to do the monitoring of the uh, parking lots, which means that currently they are using our FX series PLC, FX3 uh, PLC to do the car count operation status monitoring and also uh, the occupancy rate. So they are currently using our uh, PLC already but all everything is uh, being controlled and monitored individually. So the request that we receive is to do the centralized monitoring systems for all building with minimum cost which means they want to utilize all the equipment that currently that been used, used at a particular time and also in order to make things easier for operation and also the troubleshooting the monitoring by smartphone or tablet uh, need to be done as you can see on the right, right side of the presentation slide they want to perform a simple yet really really easy to understand uh, display of the uh, tablets and also smartphone so as you can see if let's say any kind of error uh, the parking a will turn into red and if let's say the normal condition it is in green condition so <clears throat> this is going to be the system architecture of the proposal that we submitted to the customer as you can see that all the current uh, FX3 PLC will be connected to the wireless unit as a slave and the data will be transmitted to the master of the wireless unit and sent to the FX5 view for the data collection and next uh, the FX5 PLC, PLC or the IQF PLC will be connected via uh, Ethernet cable to the router and from this router uh, Tablets and also smartphone will be connect to the wireless and do the monitoring purpose. So, as we can see that by this, they can do the centralized monitoring and also at the same time, uh, monitoring for smartphone and tablets uh, also can be done. So, if let's say any kind of error, uh, the related person or in charge person do not have to know the condition but they can just check the condition uh, through smartphone and also tablet so by this a very low cost yet simple and efficient uh, monitoring systems uh, being performed at can be performed at a customer place so next I will explain about the details of the function for this web server function so as I mentioned earlier uh, we can monitor or we can do this monitoring by using the tablet so it is either you connect this PLC to uh, by wire and also the wireless method uh, you can use this uh, web server function next is about the creating an original web page we will provide a template of JavaScript 
and customer can change uh, based on the layout that you prefer on how you want to view or use this uh, user web page as I mentioned uh, during earlier uh, slides for example this is going to be the sample of the display that you can design and use for the monitoring purpose and next is to restrict web server operations and display for each account so after this I will explain about how to do the installation or preparation in order for to use uh, this function uh, seems that this function also enable the users to change the data of each program so we must be very concerned about the safety things safety related items so we can restrict uh, for example here we have three users and we can restrict either, either this uh, user for example user a can permit only uh, system web page or permit both or user web page only so you don't have to worry and there will be also a logging function which means that we know who is the one that uh, already uh, log in into this uh, function so this will be all the list next is going to be the list of the web server functions which uh, is i'm going to uh, demo more the details uh, during my pre uh, demonstration after this and next is i will talk about the easy installation the installation of this web server function so it just only require two major steps which means that the very first step is going to be you have to do the related setting on the programming uh, software which is either jx 2 or the jx 3 and the next step is uh, to you can already start uh, this using this as a function through your web browser so uh, the details or the overview on how to do the settings and so on we already uploaded in the uh, YouTube and uh, feel free to search uh, based on these uh, links that are provided here so next we will proceed on the uh, web server function demonstration so I will explain about the system architecture of this demo kit so the main character of this demo kit is going to be the PLC itself. So this time we are using the IQF series PLC and to be exact this FX5 View 64M and this is going to be the actual unit of the FX5 View PLC. So as a gentle reminder uh, as per what I explained earlier. So for IQF and also IQR uh, it is already uh, the built-in function for the web server function so you don't need any kind of other uh, additional hardware so we are going to connect this uh, FX5 view PLC by using the Ethernet cable to one uh, to the unmanaged switch or what we always call as hub and also at the same time from the hub we also connected this system this demo kit to one unit of the wireless access point so both hub and also wireless access point is the industrial grade made by uh, Moxa, one of our e-factory alliance uh, partners. So moving forward, next one is going to be buttons and also LED, LED indicators. We have a green button as the XO input, uh, input and if we press the green button, as a result, the green LED will light on and uh, this equal to the output of Y0 and next same goes with the uh, red button which is what we sign, assign as the input of the X1 and the red LED is the output of the Y1 so in order for us to able to access this system remotely so this time I will be using uh, iPad uh, tablet so it is up to you as long as it is can be uh, connected to the Wi-Fi you can use a uh, tablet, you can use a uh, handphone, smartphone, you can also laptop as well. So from now on, I will do the demonstration on how to connect our tablet to the FX5 PLC by using the web server function. So first thing first, as we are using the wireless, so make sure that our wireless is on and connected to the network of the uh, wireless access point. So for this time we are using Moxa. So the wireless uh, name or the wireless network name uh, we already preset as Moxa. So we will proceed on this way. 
and next uh, we will launch our uh, web browser so for this time i will use the safari okay and the next is i will key in the ip address of the uh, iqf plc so for this time this is going to be 192 168 3 and 10 so once i search it and this is going to be the main page or main page or the login page of the method iqf iqf web server function so i proceed with the login so as a gentle reminder uh, the account setting only can be done by using the uh, programming software either it is the xox3 for the iqf and iqr or the xox2 for the q series plc so we will proceed with the login and now the login uh, process login process already finished so listed here is all the information of the function of the web server function so i will explain all the details so the first one is going to be the module information so you have here the model name serial number uh, version ip address uh, and so on so the next function is going to be the device batch monitor and also the third one is going to be watch uh, function basically it is the same function uh, to monitor to monitor the condition of each uh, program or the value of each program that been uh, programmed on the uh, PLC. So for the batch, we are going to view by batch. For example, here we want to view or maybe execute any kind of changes to the input of the PLC program. So for example, here for the x is zero, we're going to change it from zero to one. Okay, set it, and we have to make confirmation either everything is okay or not. So once you press the add yes and the green LED will uh, on. So we know that currently the X0 is already on. And if also we want to change back to the 0 one, we also can change it to the 0. Okay. The light remain on because X0 will cause the Y0 to be one so we also can change here to zero as well once we change and we confirm and you can see that the light will turn off so similar with the watch one as we can see here nothing is listed here if we input for the x zero and it will show up sorry it will show up the result of the current value for the x zero for example, you have any kind of trouble or any kind of problems uh, on the machine, then you can just check maybe the x0 value, the x10 value first before you go to the site to do uh, any kind of troubleshooting and so on. So for the pre-check, this is a very uh, useful function uh, that can be used, that all can be applied by the uh, engineer or also the maintenance side. So the next function is going to be the CPU diagnostic. So basically, uh, this will show any kind of error that happening that related to the PLC. But for this function, uh, I will use the last user web page uh, function in order to generate some errors. So I will jump to the user web page uh, explanation first. So in previous webinar session, we did explain about user web page, uh, which is this page is actually you can design by yourself uh, as how you prefer to do the monitoring and also to do the operation. Uh, in order to do this kind of design, to do, to do the to perform the design works, uh, IT knowledge, which means that it's also involving JavaScript. So you need some kind of uh, IT knowledge in order to make the design but don't worry we are here to help you and also guide you in order for you to make the design. So me myself basically I'm not the uh, IT background person so for this time uh, I will use this uh, simple status error 
uh, reset and also error generate uh, mutton only. So how we are going to use this user web page is for example we want to run. We just assume that we have a machine on the production floor and if let's say we want to run the production, the machine, we can go for run and execute it. Okay, you can see the light uh, for the Y0 or the green LED indicator will turn on. So just for confirmation, put it again. And if let's say we want to stop the machine also, we can click on the stop. So as you can see, the production currently stopped. So another one more time confirmation. Okay. So you can see from the running, the status turn into uh, stop. And in case any kind of error, for this time we will generate an error. Okay. As you can see, the status change to the operation error. So we go back to the uh, CPU diagnosis, refresh it back. As currently there are error, so as mentioned, it is 5:20 p.m. Uh, on 23rd of July, there was an error here. So if let's say we go back to the uh, user web page and we reset the error okay so currently the machine is idle and we done again okay just to make sure just to assume that the machine is already back to the normal condition and we go back to the CPU diagnosis and it is mentioning that there is no error happening on the PSC side and the error uh, indication here also no more uh, red color LED there okay Moving forward to the event history, yes, any kind of error, the details, the occurrence time, event type, uh, status, and also code, and also the event overview of the error will be mentioned here. This is something as what we always call as logging. Okay, and the last one is going to be the SS log. So uh, this function will monitor when and who and also what kind of operation that uh, been done by using the web server function in order to uh, access to the CPU. So we will know which account, which username that already uh, enter or use the web server function to the PSC. So at least we can trace or maybe for tra traceability purpose, this is very good. So the last one, it's going to be the language. It does not only come with English language. You also can change either go to the Japanese or also to the Chinese. So that's all from me regarding the uh, demonstration of the web server function. So if you have any kind of question, feel free to let us know. And if you have want to apply this to your production, uh, please also let us know so that we can assist you. Uh, Last but not least, thank you very much for your time today and also thank you very much for supporting Mitsubishi Electric product. Thank you very much.